Chances are, among your family or friends, someone has diabetes. It's a common problem, affecting 1 in 11 people, but 1 out of 4 people who have diabetes don't know that they have it. If not managed properly, diabetes can cause serious health problems. There are effective ways to manage diabetes and prevent its complications. Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hi, welcome to Smart Clinic. Today we will learn about diabetes. Dr. A, we have some questions for you. Tell us, what is diabetes? We are gifted with an amazing body. All its organs are always working to keep us highly functional. For all the work, they need constant energy. One form of energy is glucose, commonly known as sugar, that is used by our brain, heart, and muscles. It's like fuel that these machines need to work effectively. It is important to have an optimal level of glucose in our blood at all times. Low levels of glucose can be dangerous. Some organs, especially our brain, cannot function without this fuel. High levels of glucose over a long period of time can damage blood vessels and organs. Our pancreas controls glucose levels by releasing special hormones. The pancreas is always on high alert. When we eat, it quickly releases insulin to use and store extra glucose that comes from food. This way, the level of glucose does not get very high after meals and fuel is saved for later. When we are not eating, the stored energy is used as fuel. We can eat food with lots of glucose or sugar or can stay hungry for a whole day without worry. Our amazing pancreas will always maintain good levels of glucose at all times. In diabetes, however, our body is not able to control glucose levels. This can happen if the pancreas is not able to make enough insulin, like in type 1 diabetes, or the insulin is not working properly, like in type 2 diabetes. Both conditions lead to high levels of glucose in the blood that is harmful for our body. Dr. A, you mentioned two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. What are their differences? In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas is not able to make insulin due to damage to the parts of the pancreas that make insulin. Type 1 diabetes commonly appears in children and young adults. Occasionally, older people may develop it as well. Once diagnosed, treatment with insulin should be started right away. Without insulin, these people can become very sick. Type 2 diabetes is more common. Multiple factors play a role such as genetics, having a family history of diabetes, being overweight, and lifestyle habits of eating and exercise. The pancreas makes insulin, but it may not be enough, and the effect on the organs may be less. Type 2 diabetes usually appears later in life. However, genetics, obesity, and lifestyle habits can cause it at an earlier age. Treatment for type 2 diabetes includes improving eating habits, regular exercise, and taking medicines to control glucose. In some cases, insulin may also be needed. Dr. A, what are the symptoms of diabetes? Diabetes can appear in many different ways, and each person may be different than others. Common symptoms are feeling more thirsty and hungry, frequent urination, feeling tired, fatigued, and weak, blurry vision, frequent skin infections, and tingling or numbness in the feet. Sometimes people may also have weight loss. It is important to know that many people may not have any symptoms at all. Diabetes can stay unrecognized for many years while it silently damages organs and leads to complications. This is why everyone should get tested for diabetes at age of 40 years and then get tested regularly every one or two years after that. You should get tested sooner if you have any symptoms of diabetes or have high-risk conditions like being overweight, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or having a family history of diabetes. Timely diagnosis and treatment can prevent many dangerous complications. Dr. A, how do you check if someone has diabetes? Diabetes is diagnosed by blood tests that check for glucose levels. 
there are three different types of tests. Number one, fasting blood glucose. For this, a person should not eat anything for eight hours before the test. You can still drink water and take your medicines during this time. Number two, random blood glucose. This test can be done at any time, even after eating. Number three, A1C. This test can be done anytime. It tells us how the glucose levels were over the last three months. Here you can see the normal values. When the levels are just a little bit higher, we call this as borderline diabetes or pre-diabetes. This means you are getting close to developing diabetes and should start working on your lifestyle by improving your eating habits and exercise regularly. This way you may prevent diabetes or delay its onset. As the levels get higher, as shown in this picture, you may be diagnosed with diabetes. Your doctor will create a treatment plan based on how high the sugar levels are, what other medical conditions you have, and what complications of diabetes you may have already had. Some machines use a different measure to check the level of fasting and random glucose. Their values are shown over here. Dr. A. What problems are caused by diabetes? And why do we need treatment if we don't have symptoms? High levels of glucose slowly damage the blood vessels, nerves, and organs such as eyes and kidneys. Damage to blood vessels can lead to serious problems like heart attacks and strokes. Think of this as an example of a wooden hut. If insects and termites start eating and damaging the wood, you may not notice any problem right away. But if the termites are not identified and controlled, then the damage continues making the wood weaker over time. At some point, the wood becomes too weak and may break, or the hut may collapse. Similarly, high levels of glucose slowly keep damaging our body, even if we don't feel it. Eventually, it can result in serious problems. The blood vessels become sticky and narrow, increasing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. The effect on blood vessels can also cause foot ulcers and serious infections. Diabetes is the most common reason for kidney failure and blindness throughout the world. The good news is that with early diagnosis and good treatment, we can avoid these complications and prevent them from getting worse. Treatment includes changes in eating habits, exercise, and use of appropriate medicines. Different types of medicines are available. Consult your doctor to find out what treatment is best for you. Watch our next video on treatment of diabetes to learn more about it. Thank you for listening and see you back soon. Did you know diabetes is a Greek word that means sweet urine? In old times, one way to check for diabetes was to see if their urine attracted ants because of the glucose in it. Some ancient doctors used to taste their urine to diagnose diabetes. Yucky! Don't try that at home. I hope you learned from this video. Spread this message so others can benefit as well. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about health and disease. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.